So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go nice and low. Okay? I want to take away his ability to get underneath me. Because, if you guys can see, the higher I am, the easier it is for him to get a Della Heaver. For him to get a Della Heaver, he wants me about here. And see, he can use this as an outside Della Heaver, he can go to an inside Della Heaver. This is a good handle for him. He can stretch me out, he can pull me forward, he can block me, he can attack me. I don't want him to have these abilities. Okay, so the first thing I do, and just without Hector there, I'm going to show you without him there, I sit here. Okay, and I try and sit as low on my heel as I can so that there is no Della Heva there now. Sometimes it might be uncomfortable, some people have got different genetics. You might have a bad knee like me, so I don't use this knee, I just bend down on this one. But now if I come in here and he tries to get a Della Heva, there's no space there for a Della Heva at all. If anything, he's only going to overcommit and then give me the ability to start passing his leg. The other leg, I keep pretty far back. I'm not going to sit squat both legs like this because then if he bumps me one way, I'm going to fall over. I need one leg out as balance, but I don't want to, if I'm coming in here, I don't want to sit it too close to him because what will happen, he'll attack that. I have it strategically placed, just not too far back here, just far enough back that if he were to try and reach from here, I would not only be able to block that, but I would be able to attack him as well. As he's reaching, he gives me a lot of space to cross space. Because before that, no doubt, he's probably blocking the cross face. Because this is a really good position for me. So the moment he reaches through, he gives me this kind of stuff. And then I can start trying to pass as well. So I have it back far enough that if he was to reach underneath there, I would not only be able to defend it and pull it back, but I would be able to attack. He would make space for me. My elbows are nice and tight in here. I don't want them flared up if you're sitting forward. I don't want them flared up like this. Because one, what can he do? Boom. Arm drags. If I was even here or something, he could go, oh, my platters or whatnot, or duck unders. There's a lot of options there. It's the same as wrestling. When I'm wrestling, you don't want to be out like here because it gives him too much handles. I'm in nice and tight here. My hands are forward. Why? <clears throat> to hand fight. You know, if he's trying to attack me doing things, I want to be able to hand fight as well. But I'm protecting the underhooks as much as I can. Now I've protected the... Della Heva, this leg's far enough back that if he was going to attack, I'd be able to defend there. My elbows are tucked in, so there's no underhooks or overhooks there. My head's up, I'm not too low. If I'm too low, he can put me in and guillotine me. It's very dangerous. And my back is not too bent like this, because it's not strong. If he pulls my head down now, I'm going to fall over. Okay, it's the same as wrestling. You don't go too far like that, because they pull your head, it's very hard to get your, your back there. You want a nice straight back. So, the posture we're going to start in, is like this.